I'm not sure I'll even get. But uh, hey, thanks for coming. Thanks for Bill for making it happen. Bill said, heck, I like doing it. Hey, we're all here with this thing. Since we did a 45th reunion here with the board. But uh, hey, Bill, we're all, we're all proud of you. We haven't finally got to this thing. <laughs> Noted as being uh, perpetually late, they awarded that thing to you, what, about two years ago? And then last year, it didn't happen. And, Late and late, so it's right down in your alley. Right down in your alley. So whatever, whatever you have in front of you, water, wine, whatever it may be, to Bill, to Alex. Bill and Alex. Hey, Bill, you got it. Okay, so I'm not going to let Charlie, without a response. Water. 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 Anyway, I just want to say a couple things. Uh, uh, Charlie, you, you and Patty put this together, so thank you for that. And uh, I, I do want to uh, give Charlie some credit uh, for, um, well, uh, he was the inspiration on why I went to Vietnam, actually. You know, <laughs> 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 it seemed, seemed like a good I idea at the time. Just to get away from Charlie. Yeah, good luck to Charlie. So, yeah, I was, we were sitting in that uh, you know, hallway and picking uh, our branches and our assignments, as you do. And uh, in a surreal experience, and uh, I was near the end, obviously. For those of you who don't know, I was in the 700s somewhere. Uh, but Charlie was ahead of me, and he said, "You know, where, where are you going to pick?" I said, "Well, you know, I was thinking about San Francisco." And then he, Charlie said, yeah, "El Paso sounds pretty good to me." And so just you know, skip over, and then it finally gets to Charlie, and Charlie says, "Vietnam." Here we go. And he turned to me and I said, Yeah, baby. This <laughs> man's not a drink. Yeah. So I, I just want to use this as an opportunity to thank you, Charlie. <laughs> but I have to say, it proved to be the right decision. You know, we marched to the sound of the cannons, it was a call of duty. The American taxpayers spent a lot of money on all of us, so. It did seem like the right thing to do. And we went over together. The first thing we did is a bit irreverent, but we threw the Frisbee at, at Tonsina Air Base. And I think that was the last time we had a smile on our face for about a year. But it turned out to be a, a very meaningful experience. And Charlie uh, was later my best man. Um, um, and Nancy, she sends her best. Uh, my wife and I, Alex, were just at her father's 100th birthday wow. at, at last month. And he is a, uh, he's a, he was a barber up until about four years ago. Okay. And he's the salt of the earth, he wore his uniform. Well, he's a Marine before that. He was a Marine before that, he was in uh, Pacific, and he still fits into his uh, uniform. And we had the American flag there, and we had this amazing ceremony from the community and how he brought the community together, uh, you know, from his barber shop. So that's, Number one, I want to say uh, The other thing I wanted to say is, you, you know, when I heard it was going to be 9 11, we talked about it. And we said, that's, you know, a very auspicious day, of course, and, you know, is it really appropriate? And um, not to name drop, but I bumped into Jeff Bush last month, uh, the brother of the president during 9 11. And he said, you know, there is no better place to be on the 20th anniversary of 9 11 than West Point. And I said, yeah, I guess that makes sense. You know, as tragic as it was, this was a real story of compassion, heroism, and uh, the military. You know, we're going to get that something, whatever. And uh, the first people you call are the military. And that's what happened. So, you know, in a way, I do think it actually is an interesting choice of dates and a, and a, and a good day. And I, there's going to be a somber moment, of course, on 9-11. And, you know, we'll all take that in. And I. I I, the more I think about it, I think it's very appropriate that we're all, all here for that. So, um, I was reading your bios. Uh, <laughs> 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 I mean, this group is so astounding. It's so impressive. I mean, I wish I could just, you know, say everything. But, you know, there's a couple of themes that come out. Well, first of all, you're all soldiers. Uh, you're all heroes. And you're all educators. You know, and we have, you know, Irish rebels and, uh, you know, cardiologists. And um, so I just want to say that um, this, whatever it is, this DG, which I say it's a momentary lapse of uh, judgment, I mean, AOG, <laughs> um, it's really a reflection of you. And I think we're underrepresented as a class. 
uh, clearly, because uh, it hasn't happened. So we have to turn that around. And um, I just want to say, you know, I, I was reading Sully's uh, bio, and he, uh, his words really stuck with me. He was talking about Bitsy and said, Bitsy is the soul and the heart. And that is such a great description, the soul and heart of you, because this one is the soul and the heart of me. <laughs> You're looking good now, Bill. <laughs> I knew I had her. I knew I had her. I forget the time. Had her look. <laughs> when I brought her to West Point, she said no to me a lot. And I brought her to West Point, and Bill, you know, as he does, gave us a tour of West Point. And we were in the cemetery, which is like a museum, right? You go and look at all these amazing people. And uh, he just casually said, he said, you know, uh, when you get married, your wife is qualified to be buried in the cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that was it. When she found she could be buried in the cemetery, <laughs> I had her. <laughs> it's a true story. I did not know that. I learned something new tonight. <laughs> so I, I'm feeling, a, you know, don't want to winch. I, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. I'm, and the reason is, it's because I had dinner last night with, with Dave and, and Susan. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's all your it. fault, Dave. <laughs> so it, it, it was a great, responsibility, would you? Well, <laughs> it was a great dinner, but after the third bottle of wine, <laughs> I 